Megan. I'm Chris. I'm Kristen and welcome back to Keto in the Country. Today we're going to be doing a tailgating spread. I've never tailgated. Which I can't believe. <laughs> but Not once in my life. It looks so much fun though. Right. And tailgating food, for me at least, was never a good idea because it's always very unhealthy. Just <laughs> something I could grab. But today we're going to be doing something really special because we're making all of these great recipes keto. Um, they're things that, you know, you can use at a party, you can use just as a snack in your refrigerator. They're not just for tailgating. It's but. just a lot of ideas for snacks. Um, you can keep them on hand. And you said that you probably ate things you shouldn't have while you were tailgating. Right. That's the thing with, uh, if you're doing the keto diet, with these recipes, you don't feel... Guilty. Yeah, you don't feel guilty. You don't feel deprived right. of anything because they're so satisfying. They're keto, yet everybody likes them. You don't have to be on keto to do these recipes. All of our recipes are like that. You don't have to be on keto, but all of our recipes are keto and low carb. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and walk you around the table and show you all of the different um, keto friendly appetizers, treats um, that you could possibly want at a tailgating party. So as you can see, the first thing that we made here were is our taco, four layer taco cups. Um, the first layer was guacamole. The second was green onions and cilantro chopped and mixed together. Then a layer of sour cream and we topped it with cheese. Now with this, since we get a uh, craving for crunch, we made the Parmesan cheese crisps, yes. which it was really good with the guacamole. Yes, it's a great replacement for chips and dip. Mm -hmm. So next we have the jalapeno poppers, some um, bell pe mini bell peppers filled with pimento cheese dip, and the jalapeno poppers are candied, so there's a little twist on them. Uh-huh, they're very good. Um, we have some stuffed mushrooms, which are delicious. Um, they're easy, everybody likes them. Um, yeah. And then lastly, we just took some mozzarella cheese balls and yeah. tomatoes and basil and just put them on a toothpick. And it was super easy and it's really pretty and nice to look at. Yeah, a little toothpick caprese salads. So these are all really easy finger foods. They're great munchies. And actually, they were the first to go. So, and not everybody here is keto. So next, we have one of our chicken wings. I think this is the salt, salt and vinegar. vinegar. Yes. So if you love salt and vinegar chips, you're sure to love these. Um, that's our homemade blue cheese that we borrowed the recipe from Chris's <laughs> from my, sister, Pat. my sister. These are the, um, oh, our dry spice rub wings that have like a little bit of sweetness. We created that wing, um, our wing rub. It's our, it's our recipe. Uh, it's very fallish. It had some cinnamon and cloves and we hope that you'll try this recipe. It turned out really well. And of course, there's the blue cheese dip again. It's going to be famous. Um, our chicken saute skewers were such a hit. They were so easy. We thought that they were going to take a while, but really they took about five minutes to cook. The kids loved these. Yes. Yeah. The 26 and the 18 year olds really like these. Yes. They're very easy. We made two sauces with them, a tzatziki sauce. Mm -hmm, which and, you just saw. And a peanut sauce. And the peanut sauce was super simple. You can kind of flavor it to taste. So tasty. It was, it was more sweet. Um, so it's two completely tastes going on here. And if you can't decide which one you like best, you just go from one to the other. Right. <laughs> okay, so next we had the veggies and the spinach dip. The spinach dip is one of my favorites. Um, again, easy to make. It's our own recipe. We, and I'm sorry, the video is, goes a little wonky here, <laughs> but you can see the veggies that we use to dip. Um, we didn't use a package mix. Everything we try to make from scratch as best we can, and this is so much better. It turned out so much better. It, it was sort of surprising, actually, so we hope that you'll find this video and try it. And lastly, we have our desserts. Um, we have a triple berry cheesecake cup. Delicious. So good. It's one of my favorites. And we used our own triple berry jam. If you haven't seen that video yet, please check it out. Mm -hmm. And you can also put these in a casserole dish, bake them in a casserole dish and make bars instead. But we just had the little mini cups. And then the chocolate caramel bars. Oh my gosh, these are dangerous, but just have a couple of bites because they are so rich, you will make yourself sick, that's a promise. And just a bite is totally satisfying because they are rich. Mm -hmm. And our last 
Um, yeah, actually, we have one more chicken yes. coming up. There it is. That's the Thai chicken chili sauce. Um, this is delicious. If it kind of has the consistency of a marmalade when you put it on, and it will tend to, to gel. <laughs> um, so you're gonna want to keep it warm if you're serving it as a sauce, but it's perfect when you uh, coat it on the wings. My advice is not to serve it as a sauce because it does gel. Uh, there's again beef uh, gelatin in there. So that's our table and we hope that you'll find the videos to match and thanks for joining us. Thanks for joining us today. We hope that you saw a recipe that you would like to try. Uh, be sure to hit like and subscribe right below. And check out the show notes because that's where we're going to be linking each of the individual recipes for you so you don't have to watch them all if you maybe picked, wanted to pick and choose which recipes you were looking for instead of watching the whole thing. Yes. So thank you again and we really hope to see you next time. Bye. Bye.